my son was four, I just recently got divorced. And he had just started in, at a new school. On one of the first days, he came back and he said to me, Mummy, I'm the only boy in the class who has divorced parents. He looked really sad. And I felt like I'd been punched in the stomach. I paused. And then suddenly I felt this surge of energy come up inside me. And this voice in my head say, why do we all have to be the same? Tom, darling, you, we're all different. Thank goodness, wouldn't life be boring if we were all the same? Be proud of who you are and remember all those amazing special things that make you so wonderful and so unique. His eyes lit up and something shifted inside me. From that day, I really believe the importance of connecting to your uniqueness to unlock your potential and your happiness. Take a moment to think about what makes you unique. Are you leveraging that uniqueness? I've been in business for 20 years and I'm a personal development coach. Through experience, I've seen the importance of products and services having a very strong, unique commercial edge. And I believe that that also applies on a personal level. It's important to embrace your uniqueness, to unlock your potential, your happiness, and your success. I thought I'd share with you a journey that I've been on recently and that I share with my clients. So I look at two fundamental areas that help bring clarity and understanding to what makes you unique and what drives you. So I started with my highest values, putting to one side those voices in my head that tell me what I should do or what I think I, what's expected of me. And I ask a few key questions, including the following. What energizes me? What do I really want to do? What inspires me? And what makes me want to jump out of bed in the morning? Three recurring themes came up. My love of my family, personal development, and health and well-being. I then looked at my needs. There are six universal human needs. We all meet these needs consciously or subconsciously, sometimes in a positive way, but sometimes in a negative way. These needs are for certainty, variety, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution. My predominant needs are for love and connection, growth and certainty. So having looked at these two fundamental areas, I took a step back to see how I could link and explore how I could link my needs to my highest values. And I started with my need for growth. And I link that to my highest value of personal development. And it's been absolutely fantastic. I've read avidly about personal development, about how to, to fulfill human potential, and I've done a lot of courses. Then love, my need for love, and indeed, my highest value of my love for my family. So I decided to give even more time to my children and to my husband and give them even more love. And I also decided to give myself a little <coughs> bit more love. And in terms of connection, I looked at, thought about how I could connect, um, connect further and more deeply with my clients <coughs> and my colleagues. And certainty. I remind myself every day that I'm doing something that I love and I'm contributing to my development, to that of my loved ones <coughs> and to the people that work with me and my clients. So what I would say to you, I've had an absolutely wonderful journey on this. Have a think about what makes you unique and whether you're leveraging that. Thank you. Um, we 
actually, I didn't actually introduce Elliot, who's the other judge for tonight. So, Elliot, please tell us a little bit about yourself very quickly. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, my name is Elliot Kay, and I'm the co founder and my first as well as the trainer, uh, the trainer, one of the trainers for Super Express. And um, outside of that, I also am an international speaker for over 6,000 hours of speaking internationally. Uh, and I've had the joy of watching all these members join us and blossom and work with them in the training on a regular basis and seeing their journey come out. And what I really, my role as the, the mentor trainer, one of us working very closely, is to really see where they're at and what, what their stretch. So everything I'm going to say tonight, it's a nice kind of part of always comes from love. But actually, I've softened in my old age. Since I've had a baby, I've become really nice. So <laughs> I don't think you'll hear anything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you guys have to. Babies do that to you. So, yeah, that's me. Okay. So, lady first. Uh, so, well done. I, Thank you. you know, getting on stage in the first place, I think, is always great. You have a Can beautiful... Can you get up? Sorry? Can we... Oh, no, I... Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to doing the bossing around me, okay? <laughs> right, not tonight, we'll see. Um, so, <laughs> well, two minutes, so I'm going to be as quick as possible. So, so shut up. <laughs> I need to focus, okay? So, um, so I love, I, I, I love your stance. I think, you know, your style is very much being in one place, which is fine. Um, the two things I want to call out the most, mm -hmm. the first is around tonality, and, and what I'd want to see, because you had spaces there to do it, is more of this, mm -hmm. you know, you can kind of bring it up and then back down, and you know, and it was kind of a little bit like it was in the same kind of place. Yeah. And so um, I'd want to see you kind of look at the talk and see where you can add excitement and use your voice more to kind of convey the story yeah. and bring us in and then soften it. Um, at the moment, it's all it's all quite soft. Mm -hmm. um, and then a little thing that I think is, is minor, but I noticed these things. Um, at one point in the talk, you talked about stepping back and then you never step back forward. Okay. And you'd already started kind of a bit further back in the stage. So when you take that step back, you create more distance from the audience. Okay. It's harder for you to project your voice and you create a little bit of a disconnection. And there's a point where you can kind of step back up. Yeah. But I'd just be aware of it, it was a good point to step back because of what you were saying. Um, but just be conscious of moving back into the power position of the stage. Thank you. Was that brief enough? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Elliot. Cool. So. Well done. I think it's the first time I've actually seen you speak. So I've been training. Good. So there's some. Did you have a dry throat? Yes. Yeah. So I could tell. A dry throat? Question mark. Be prepared. Have water. Sit mm -hmm. before. Because in a longer speech, you would have to pull. Forward. Yes. As some of the cops are on stage, I'm aware of that. Um, I felt you missed some opportunities to really enroll us as an audience. There was lots of I and talking mm. about you. Um, so lots more questions. Am I the only one that's got voices in my head? No, yes, no, you know, yeah. you can either make or make that serious. I felt you also had an opportunity to portray those voices. You already started to play with NPR, multiple position representation, that's thankful. Cool. So you could do that with the voices too, yes. like, don't do it, do do it. Ah, anyone recognize that? Get us involved, a okay. lot of that more. Our projection, I picked up on that. Because yeah. actually what happened is, she walked in, we realized she was nervous, she was like, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> and she stood there and went, Last time I was like, Where did the confidence? Could you, could you, could you see that? I was like, Oh my God, you, she didn't have to shout, but definitely hold the projection here in your stomach. Okay. So really practice projecting properly. Mm -hmm. um, and just be consistent. Last thing um, I want to say is if you're going to talk to your son and then step in, you need to be consistent to where he was because yes, you kind of yeah. went, your son was here, but then yeah, when he I spoke, didn't move you can't back really focus yeah. he was here all of a sudden. Very minor, but it's the kind of thing that creates inconsistency yeah, no, and creates doubt. But yes. really great. I can't wait to see you guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you.